Happy morning Thursday. <laughs> I'm in I'm the summer intern here at the Futter. They asked me to make a make a video, so I thought I'd do some tips. Uh, so these are the things I learned this week with me from the Futter. Let's do it. <laughs> If I can adjust your attention to the screen, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Let's do it. This tip is something everybody should know. Let's say you're working on a, a logo for Tic Tac Robot, as you do. And you're thinking to yourself, this robot's massive. And you want to make him like one third the size of your Tic Tac Robot font. So you shrink him down and then your world's over. What happened to these lines, man? You can actually solve this problem very easily. In Mac, you can hit Illustrator, and then you can go Preferences, and then go talk to the General. I don't know what to do in Windows, but just get to your General Settings. And then you hit Scale Strokes and Effects. Let's try shrinking our Tic Tac. A little bit Tic Tac Robot smaller. Ooh, look at that. He looks the same as the big one. If you think that would be helpful and it's not on right now, I would suggest that you pause this video open up your illustrator and hit that setting. Otherwise, you might forget later, alligator. Tech tip number dos. This one is a big deal, my friends. It might change the future of humanity as we know it. This, I think right now for me is officially the F1, the fastest way to shade an illustrator. Let's say you got a possum's left leg and you're saying to yourself, we need a little bit of shadow under under our shorts. So select the shape you want to add the shadow to and just over here, second to last thing on the menu, you'll see drawing modes. Click that and then hit draw inside. All you got to do now is I like to deselect and then I get the darker color. Boom. And then hit B for your brush tool. And we deselect this because if we had it selected when we changed our color to something darker, it would have changed our shape to something darker. So now you can just draw through there. <laughs> BAM! <laughs> that is so fast! Oh man, that's dope! <laughs> okay, then if you want to get out of this thing, you can just double click outside and you're out. You're free to roam the world. Since practice makes permanent, let's do it on the other leg. So, we select the shape we want to add a shadow to. Come over here to drawing modes, hit draw inside. Deselect your shape. Select a dark color, get your brush tool. And then you can just draw in, draw in there, wherever you want. And then since it's a clipping mask, if you want to change this stuff, just select it and double click into it. And then you can move around or delete your brushes that you made. Can we please get a round of double snaps for this incredible innovation? <laughs> yes, I am so excited for this. Okay, check out the poll above and let me know if you already knew about these uh, tips and settings. For this section, I'm actually gonna put together a Google Doc full of the fonts that I use. A lot of you awesome possums have been asking for that. So I'm just gonna have that screen playing to give you something to look at. <laughs> this biz tip is brought to you by pencils. Buy a pencil wherever pencils are present. Thank you. Okay, if you guys are doing any kind of freelance projects at all, make sure that you're always taking a certain percentage before you start any of the work. I suggest 50%. And now this happens a lot more when you're just starting out, but sometimes people will ghost you. So it's a lot better to only lose 50% of the payment because they paid 50% upfront than it is to lose 100% of the payment. So of course, get money up front, but never ever think in your head, this person's probably not gonna pay me. For the most part, the majority of everybody is absolutely good and wholehearted and they will pay. I'm in no position to give life or, life or tips, so I'm just gonna tell you something that has helped me, and that is to shrink my dreams. Let's say you wanna produce an animation, like on the scale of Adventure Time, but it's such a huge project, you're just thinking to yourself, well, yeah, I probably won't be able to accomplish that for the next 10 years or something. But actually, you're not getting anywhere closer to that dream, you're just going through your days assuming it will happen. So the most important thing that I've done is shrink my dreams to things I can accomplish in a week. So you cannot produce an animation on the level of Adventure Time in a week, no way. So instead, you shrink that dream and you figure out what form will that take in a week? 
Well, perhaps I can make a webcomic with five or six scenes in a week. And maybe I could add a little voiceover. So as you scroll down the webcomic, you hear the characters' voices. And if I do that 10 weeks in a row, I've fleshed out the story a lot more, fleshed out the characters, and perhaps some people have started to like it. Now, a year later, you can find other people who are, who are really good, talented animators. You can go to them and say, hey, I've got this really a great idea for an animation. And they say, well, what's your idea? And you say, well, I've actually already made an entire webcomic about it, and, and it seems like there's a certain amount of people who, who really like it. So shrink your dream into a format you can finish in a week, let those weeks build up, and you'll be so much closer to achieving the bigger version of the dream. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's it for my tips this week in things I learned this week. <laughs> so guys, if you wouldn't mind, leave some tips or things you've been thinking about in the comments below that you've recently learned. That way we can start like a thread and it'll be like a communal tip giving. <laughs> and then we can all read through the comments and, and find new information. And then also for next week's installment of things I learned this week, I can include some of the, the more awesome ones. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for being here on this lovely Thursday. Zimboy out. Stay awesome possum. And I'll see you later, alligator. Bye guys.